Hi, I'm Caroline Light and I'm Director of Studies in the program in Women, Gender and Sexuality Studies. And I just want to say from the heart, thank you to all of the staff who help make Harvard the great place that it is. Without the administrative support and the uh, research technical support of these workers, we really couldn't do anything. I'm personally extremely grateful for the high quality support I've received here over the last years. Union members are vital to teaching and research because the health of any department or institute at Harvard really depends more than anything else on the role of the administrative staff. Many of us faculty around the university, although we're not directly involved in the negotiations between the union and the university, are very concerned and we realize that we are a community on campus and that very much we have to work together for the well-being of our students of our research and for the university as a whole. Uh, I wanted to say that I value my colleagues on the staff very highly and, I would, and it's very important to me that they have good benefits as is befitting for a great and powerful institution like Harvard University. It's important for staff to have good paying benefits for a number of reasons. One is that it uh, creates a stronger, more productive and efficient community, not just at Harvard, but at any, anywhere. It um, helps build a sense of uh, loyalty between um, workers and um, managers. Uh, and then just on a humanitarian basis, um, workers need to be compensated adequately, fairly, for uh, the work they do. And in the United States today, the inequalities of wealth, in my view, is the single most dire uh, uh, problem that needs to be addressed and is not being addressed. And I think it's uh, also important for the university to be mindful of the times that we live in. I mean, it, uh, society is all screwed up. One of the principles that we established when students and workers together fought for a living wage at Harvard is the idea that Harvard should just not pay whatever the market can, will bear. Uh, one of the things we've seen in this country is that the market is uh, 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 creating a race to the bottom. Uh, we live in an expensive part of the country. We have, uh, there are many economic pressures on all of us today uh, from the university itself, all of us as faculty, all of us as staff. And we want there to be um, just medical support. We want there to be good wages, keeping up with inflation for our staff. I've been around Harvard long enough to remember the early movement to found this union, and Harvard's administration was against it at first, dead set, but came to realize that it was a benefit for everybody to have a union and have good union management relationships. Again and again on a whole range of issues, university officials try to be utterly politically correct uh, to the point of even mandating sensitivity uh, but when it comes to uh, members of their own community, our own community, suddenly all of that uh, disappears. This is really an important moral issue and I hope the university thinks about it in that way. I do believe that the richest university in the, in the world can afford to pay decent salaries and health benefits to its employees and so I support the demands of the HUCTW. Um, my own scholarly work, research and writing, is about labor and management in unions, and both in that sense and also just through experience. I believe strongly that workforces where there are unions and strong relationships with management are almost always better for everybody including the, the entire institution in this case. Having good wages and benefits for the um, staff here are essential to uh, attracting high quality and highly qualified individuals, which are an essential part of keeping this university in its preeminent position. As professors and as students, I think we really gain a lot from the staff that works here at Harvard and works hard, and it's really important that morale is strong, that pay is fair, that it goes up as expenses go up, and so I really feel very strongly that the union's voice should be heard and should be given, um, given a, a good result.
I just want to say to all of those of you who are working at Harvard, first of all, thank you for the incredible work that you do. Um, none of the teaching and research and, and work that faculty and students do would be possible without you, and I think we understand that. Also, want to um, say, hang in there because uh, you know I think you will get a, a good outcome in the end. You have stronger arguments on your side. The work that all of us do here as researchers, as teachers, uh, could not be done without the fine efforts of uh, of the staff and workers here at Harvard. That's why I greatly value the HUCTW and its work, and I urge Harvard to take uh, it very seriously and, uh, and to give it the utmost respect in negotiations. And I just want to say that I'm in full support of HUC2. I do wish everyone well in the negotiation and hope very well that this is brought to an end soon with, with a just and fair settlement for everyone. I think just keep at it and don't lose, don't lose hope and um, I, I, I hope you get, we get a good contract this, you know, very soon. Have faith, have courage, <laughs> uh, keep up your voice.